What a day. We didn't find a lot of stuff, but probably on everyone's bucket list coin, Don found it. And it's, it's all together. It's not separated into eight bits. I hope you enjoy the video. We're out today uh, with uh, Jeff and with uh, Donnie, and uh, we're we're hitting an old. Uh, well, it's a community center now, but what did this used to be, Jeff? This was a school, uh, at least back to the 1870s. All right, cool. So uh, we got permission to hit. We're going to hit around the the entire front of it. We got uh, permission to. There's a baseball field here, uh, so you know, sitting adjacent to this old structure. So we're gonna. We're gonna try. We're gonna do some door knocking today. Hopefully, we'll have some success. And if we do, you know, we'll show you what we find. Um, hey, Donnie's over here, and Jeff went in the back. I moved from this area, which was pretty trashy, all filled in, a lot of rock and gravel underneath the underneath the grass. And I came up on a nickel signal that was deeper, and uh, scored a buffalo. I haven't looked at the date yet, or to see if there's a date. But uh, there's the buffalo. And I have no idea. Let me see if I can look. These don't usually come out with a date, but looks like I might be able to snag a date off it if I look real carefully. But all right, well, I'll take it. Buffalo number one <laughs> for this year. <laughs> all right. All right. Jeff was uh, letting us know that he found some coins back here. He says that this one here is what, three inches? Yeah, it's right there. Three inches, and it's definitely silver. You can see it in there, right there. It's either a rosy or a murk, I'm sure. Well, let's find out. I hope it's a little older. That's a that's a rosy. All right, sweet. We're let's on the board. It. I rode them rosies. 1951. All right, that's a great number for me. That's 51's my number. All right, second one here. Looks like uh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be copper something. Maybe a weedy or something. It's a weedy. Yeah. Cool. All right. Yep. There's the wheat. Sweet. 1940 something. 40 something. Let's see. 1940 something. And we'll get a close up here. Uh oh. 44. We we'll have to send this over to Kurt. 1944. Gonna try a live dig here. Got a really good signal, and uh, it was popping around 140, 1244. And this is at about seven inches. Yeah, we'll see right now. Decent. I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> I don't know. Ugh, pop something out there. Uh oh. That's it, whatever it is. Big crusty. Big crusty. Big crusty. The curse of the live dig. All right. We are wandering through the woods here. Yeah. Jeff found an Indian. And oh, it was a weedy. We all thought it was a weedy. But, uh,. It's uh, definitely an Indian. Definitely an Indian. Here you go. Good find. 1886, I think. Awesome. Awesome. Wow. That's a, it's thin too. It's a thin. Check out the back. It's like really deep. Too. Where are you? There you are. 18. Yeah. 1880s. What did you say? 1886, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Good find. Awesome. <sighs> All right. So. We have, uh, I personally have, have had, we asked for permissions today, and uh, I've gotten uh, two no's, resounding no's, not even a handshake no. And uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, Donnie thinks that maybe, you know, we're in an area that people didn't really do what they're supposed to do, metal detecting, um, maybe. Oh, okay. So uh, it is what it is. We'll kind of poke around here a little bit more. You can kind of see where. We're deep in the woods here. We're hopefully an old, 
an old house used to be, um, 1880s coin gives us some hope that something's around. All right, uh, Donnie's here. here. Jeff is down here, made his way. And this is a cellar hole that we found wandering through the woods. Donnie found the, the site on an old 18, mid 1800s map. We're assuming that this is gonna be awesome. I'm looking for old colonial stuff here. Um, I've never been to a cellar hole, cellar hole. This is my first cellar hole ever. A lot of people watching this up in the New England states. Um, you guys are lucky, I guess, you have these cellar holes. But you can see it's totally different. The, the suspender strap. Did you really? Yeah. Suspender strap. All right, I'm going. I'm going over to look at it. All right, and a can of pop right there too. All right, let's see what Donnie's got. Oh yeah, cool. Nice that is that is really nice. Very ornate. Awesome. So very cool. All right. Well, we we're in a spot. Definitely. Um, I don't know if I broke it, but I got a good good signal here. Yeah, it's definitely an earlier site. Yep. It could be large easier. Uh, got a nice nice uh, spoon handle. Sorry, nice spoon handle here or fork handle or whatever but uh, i'll clean it up and we'll see if there's anything on it yeah. all right so you can see the cellar hole here pits are there's a pit back here um and uh jeff's claiming that he's got a nice small coin we're gonna make our way over there without getting oh yes we are gonna get pricked all over Ugh. a lot of uh a lot of snake poop <laughs> around here I haven't wiped it yet. All right. I don't know what kind of penny. It's a kind of penny. Is it? Now let's find out. Sweet. Be another Indian, huh? It's a 65 dime. Is it really? 65. Sweet. I think we just missed silver, huh? <laughs> All right. Picked up another old utensil handle here. And uh, it's pretty thin. Don't know what it is, but it is something. Okay. Uh, Donnie said he's got part of a real, a real find over here. So we're gonna get over to him. And uh, man, I've never seen the Doug real before, so. Oh my God. No way. Holy sh Oh my God, Donnie. Oh my Dude, God. That's, what is that? Well, we're gonna get a date here in a minute. <laughs> I've never seen one dug before, ever. That's, oh oh that's great my thing. God. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. I found one too. Mill dollar, they call them. He found one too. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. It's incredible. Yeah. Oh my god. Up? Came up like a oh my god. <laughs> Look like at this. silver. I didn't think. Oh my god. So who was like the last King, person to King George? Oh my god. 17 17 something two. Could it be 02? 92. 92? 97? The two for sure. Oh, sorry. Here. Sorry. You see it? 97. 1797. Jeez, look at that. I really should have called myself the coin master. That baby's going in the <laughs> it's in the books. <laughs> awesome. That is just sweet. Congrats, Donnie. Thank you. All right. Uh, shamefully, I'm gonna show you the spoon that I dug. Or the head of the spoon, whatever you call it. And uh, looks like it is, it could be silver. I don't know if they made them silver back. Yeah, maybe they did. Oh man, what a find, Donnie. Awesome, bud. All right. All right, we're done. It's 3.30ish. Uh, uh, we got out about nine o'clock this morning. Did a lot of walking. Uh, I didn't find too much. Uh, obviously Don found <laughs> just an unbelievable coin. I'll show you here again in a second. Uh, Jeff found some great stuff. He found an Indian and he found a silver rosy. Today I found a buffalo, but here's our stuff. 
Uh, you can see Don's stuff over here. We'll get back to this here, this gear, old gear. Uh, my my only good find, I guess you could say, buffalo. A pewter uh, handle for a spoon or fork or something. A uh, little spoon, all the junk I dug. And uh, nicely laid out. Jeff has his stuff over here. And uh, you see his good finds over here. He's got a weedy. Two of them, actually. 18, what was that, Jeff? 18? 1880-something. 1880-something. 1951. I love 51. All right. And then going back over here to... I'm afraid to touch it. <laughs> I'm afraid to touch it. Are you kidding me? That is unbelievable. That is just insane. 1792. I'll get it in the sun over here. God, that is just unbelievable. Look at that. Oh, wow. Look at this hunk. This is in unbelievable shape. You know how rare it is to find these? People cut them up and do bits of eight. This is a full 18. I'm sorry, 1797. Look at that. Man. Fist pump. That is awesome. All right, till the next till the next detecting adventure. Uh, hopefully the weather stays nice. And uh, I guess that's it. We'll talk to you later. See ya.